Introducing the USB endoscope, supplied with software, a clip-on magnet and a hard briefcase style carry case. It is designed to view hard to reach areas and capture still or video images. Okay. The USB endoscope is ideal for many applications in the industry such as maintenance logs, heating and ventilation engineers for boiler and flue inspections, automotive for engine and gearbox inspections so avoiding costly strip downs, electrical engineers for inspecting wiring ducts, home and DIY. It is equipped with a 14mm waterproof camera head that incorporates adjustable LED lights for dark or unlit environments. The flexible 880mm gooseneck is also waterproof and can be preformed for awkward access points. It has a 2 meter USB connection cable and takes its power from being plugged into any PC or laptop. The handle incorporates a thumb wheel to adjust the brightness of the LED lights and also a snapshot button. The clip-on magnet is also useful for object retrieval. Still images can be captured by pressing the snapshot button. Also images can be captured as video. These can then be printed or saved and later be attached to emails and reports. If you need to inspect hard to reach areas and capture images or video, the USB endoscope is an invaluable tool. Here we have an example of where the endoscope can be used to work on your car and solve problems without pulling stuff off. This car turned up, it's got the symptoms of a blown head gasket, no, zero compression between number one and number two. So the question we have to re resolve firstly is, has the timing belt slipped and, and caused bent valves or is it just a blown head gasket? So let's have a look. We've taken the, the front timing cover off first thing you want to check is, are the cams lined up? And if you look, look down here, you can see cams lined up, there's the timing marks. Take a snapshot. The next thing you want to do is have a look at where the pulley mark is according to the timing cover. So we need to have a look further down here. Okay, and the timing mark seems to be fine. We have the cam set the top dead centre, so we need to push that down a bit so we can get a decent picture of the, of the surface of the piston. So we'll just rotate the, uh, the, the engine a bit. Okay, so now we're going to have a look down through the spark plug hole at the surface of the piston. We can see the surface of the piston. We can see the cutouts for the valves, but there is no damage to the piston. Take a snapshot of that and we're done.